Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and it's been a little while since I've just sat down and played with some makeup. So yesterday I went into Ulta to pick up some more of my self tanning stuff, which is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Self Bronzing Mousse and I walked out with a palette. <laughs> Honestly, I had no intention of buying this palette yesterday, but I had had my eyes on it for a while. It's the 39S Such a Gem palette. It is so beautiful. By Brookell modeled this on her Instagram, and I, I love her. I'm a big fan of her. Um, so I had always been eyeballing it. I didn't realize that it came out in the Ulta near me. So when I saw it, I just, I knew I had to have it. <laughs> so anyways, we were just going to sit down today. I will show you guys the palette. It is so beautiful but as you can see it's mostly like there's a lot of purples a lot of pinks um and i figured it would be beautiful for the fall there's also a lot of like kind of cranberry colors here oh my gosh i didn't even notice this one oh it's like a glitter down here it is so beautiful and i don't really have like a particular look in mind today. I literally just wanted to sit down with you guys and create something. So I actually just got to fix this eyebrow. For some reason it got messed up, but let me fix that and then we will jump in and start doing some makeup. I will forever struggle with my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so I've already gone ahead and I've done my entire face makeup except for blush, highlight, lipstick, and of course the eyes. Oh, I forgot my eyelashes. Let me go grab those as well. Because I have to go to work, I'm a little bit on a time crunch. <laughs> so I figured I wouldn't have enough time to sit down and explain my whole face routine, although it, it hasn't changed like none. <laughs> I'll link my, I'll put like a card, I think up here, up here, I forget. It's mirrored. I believe it's up here. If it's not, whatever. <laughs> I'll link a card to my most recent uh, makeup tutorial I posted probably at least a month ago now. My mommy makeup tutorial. It's like the same exact face routine if you really want to know. So let's just jump, go ahead, jump right into this and uh, get going. I'm also going to have a shortened version of today's tutorial on my Instagram. So if you want to check that out, skip the whole talk through, that's an option as well. Don't worry, I will not be offended. <laughs> Whenever I start with a tutorial, I like to at least pick like three colors. So I see, you know, obviously a lot of pinks, a lot of purples. <laughs> I have no idea. I think I, 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 this beautiful shimmer is in here, but I almost want to keep the shimmer color for the inner corner. So I think the majority of my makeup routine is going to be pretty matte, but we'll see. I kind of want to work with the matte colors first. So just taking a quick look at the palette, I think I'm definitely leaning toward this dark purple, matte purple here, probably this dark pink, and then probably this light pink, and then either this lavender or this pink for the inner corner. That's kind of what I'm thinking of doing today, but um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see uh, what actually comes of this. So let's just, let's go ahead. I'm going to dive into the matte pink first. Oh wow, super pigmented. So all I'm really doing is first pressing the color right into the socket of my eye, and then I will worry about blending, but I want to get some of that pigmentation built up first. I'm also going to stipple it on the outer corner, on the outer V. Honestly, fallout isn't too bad. I'm getting a little bit of kickback down here, but um, I wouldn't worry about, like, if you have your face makeup done first. This is not a palette that you necessarily have to do your eyes first and then your makeup second because it's really not bad. Then, once I have the color actually applied, just gonna really bang off that brush. And then I'm just going to very lightly glide my brush right over the edge. So I don't have any more product picked up. But I'm just going to start feathering the eyeshadow. And once I get to the outer corner, I like to just use little tiny circles. So I'm not like dragging the product anywhere. I'm keeping it relatively in the same spot, just really buffing out those edges. So I feel like you can already see a difference between this eye and this eye, how this one is already starting to just, <laughs> starting to soften a little bit where this one is so harsh. This is like the first makeup that I've bought in months, really. Not to say that I haven't wanted to, just my priorities have been elsewhere. 
I really wanted it, <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> kind of on a whim, yes, wasn't expecting it. I think because I wanna use as many colors as possible in today's look without like going overboard, I'm actually gonna take that matte pink that I wanna use. I'm gonna use the same brush, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this. And I think I just wanna put it right over the edge of this eyeshadow, just to have a little bit of a transition in color. So right where I was just buffing the color, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this as well. Next, I'm gonna go into, um, it, it's similar to the brush that we just used, but this is the Morphe 321, where this one was the Morphe 3, 509. These are two brushes I've actually included in giveaways before. I love them so much, but this one's just a little bit, um, not only shorter, but a little bit denser. And I'm going to go into that really deep matte purple down here I pointed out earlier. And being really gentle with this color, I'm just going to press it into that outer V. And then I'm gonna go back into my 507, pick up a little bit more of that same color. And just same kind of thing, I'm just kind of pressing it into that corner. But I'm gonna start blending it out into my lid just a little bit. And then going back into that original hot pink, I'm just going to use this color to help me soften that edge a little bit. I don't really want to go more into the dark purple so it becomes kind of muddy. I'm going to go into the darker pink and feather that edge a little bit more. Then I'm going to go into one of these teeny tiny dome brushes. It's quite narrow but then wide on the side. It's kind of like a pencil brush but not really. This is the best brush I have for the job. And I'm picking up that deep dark purple again and I just want to press it into the crease because I'm going to be cutting the crease but when, my, when I add the concealer I still want some of this dark purple to poke up over the top. Just packing it again into my crease. Don't worry about what gets on your lid because that's gonna be all cleaned up later, but I really want this color in there. You could even just press the makeup brush right into the socket of your crease very lightly, but that is the exact line that I'm following. And then this is optional, but if you wanted to, you could go in and, and soften that ever so slightly, but I'm just going to go over it really, really lightly. I don't want it to be uh, super blended there. But if there is any harshness, again, I would recommend going in with the hot pink to blend out those edges rather than adding more of the purple. Next time to add some concealer, I just use Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer. You could use Shart, Shart, <laughs> Shart Tart, <laughs> Shape Tape, what the heck? Ah, that was funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna make a product and call it Shart Tart. <laughs> um, no, you can go in with any concealer that works for you. I really like this one and it's pretty affordable. I haven't tried Morphe's concealers. Let me know if that's something I need to try, but um, <laughs> I am going to use this. And on a flat shader brush, this is Morphe's 124. I am going to start cutting my crease. And again, I, I don't want to cut it so high where you're not going to see that purple anymore. But I do want to just clean up the lid. And I'm stopping pretty much right where that purple color is on my lid and then just kind of patting the concealer. Once my concealer is applied while it's still wet, I like working when, when it's still tacky, I'm gonna take another flat shader. This is the Morphe 421 brush, and we're gonna pick up that same light pink matte color. Now here's the point where I might switch to a um, shimmery color, I'm not sure. I wanna start applying this one first and see how I like it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna try a shimmer just because I am doing a matte lip too. It's really, really, really pretty. I just wanna do a little bit of experimenting. So now the real question is, do I do the lavender or do I do the pink? I'm not sure. I think we're gonna try this lavender first. So it's one of the big pans, same brush. I'm just gonna go right over the lid again. Honestly, I kind of wish Hmm. I think I'm gonna actually lay down that matte pink color first because 
What I'm finding with the shimmery color, I'm just taking the matte pink and I'm going over the lid like I originally was. I'm going to top it with the shimmery color because what I'm finding is that the shimmery color kind of reminds me of like if you ever have glittery nail polish but it's not like like when you just apply it over a bare nail it's not like all one color and glittery it's just kind of like you can see your bare nail underneath the glitter and the glitter is kind of a topper I'm getting the same kind of effect from this glittery eyeshadow so I kind of want a base color first so I am again continuing putting this matte pink down first kind of as our base for something for the glitter to lie on top of. And then I'm dipping my brush back into that lavender glitter and I'm gonna pack it right on top. And yeah, I like that a lot better. And the glitter is really pretty too. It's kind of like a whole bunch of different colored glitters. You see some pink in there, maybe some silver in there. Let me see, let me swatch it on my hand. It's like some pink, some different colored purple glitters. Really, really pretty. Nice shift in the light as well. I am packing it on and putting a couple layers to see, you know, how pigmented I can actually get it. And you can add more layers to create a much more shimmery effect. So if you want to be subtle, you can, or you can really pack it on for more of a high impact look. Now you can see my eyes. There is an abrupt line from this dark purple into the shade that we just applied. I don't want that. So this is where the hot pink matte color is gonna come in handy. I like to use this teeny tiny brush I have. It is the Morphe um, 213 brush. I'm not sponsored by Morphe, by the way. They don't know I exist. I just really, I do like their brushes and they're super affordable. Um, but I use this for my inner corner as well, but I really like it for detail work like this. So I'm picking up that hot matte pink again and I'm just going to basically pat my brush right over that harsh line and then using ever so soft and flicking motions I'm gonna start blending it out so we get like a nice transition from the dark pink to the hot, from the dark purple to the hot pink to the light lavender shade you can always flip your brush over too to the side that you didn't add product and continue blending that way one quick tip is I always find that it's easier to blend the dark into the light. So I'm kind of going from left to right when I am blending instead of from right to left. I mean, it depends on what I, basically from dark to light, not light to dark. <laughs> Once I'm happy with the top shadow, I might go in and add a little bit of highlighting later on, but I am going to line my waterline and I'm using the NYX Faux Whites in White Smoke. It's kind of like a lavender color. Ah, <laughs> it's really hard to do when you're also holding a mirror, so I'll be right back. <laughs> and then I always like to add some on the inner corner as well, just so my eyeshadow kind of has something sticky to adhere to. For my lower lash line, we're going to keep it really simple, but we're going on the same kind of color scheme as the top. So I am going to start with the dark purple first. I'm going back into the Morphe 321. That's the short kind of dense brush. I'm going to start with my darkest color first. I'm going to stay quite close to the lash line, but I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit. I am, however, going to make sure that the line connects to my top eyeshadow as well. But I did stop about the middle of my eye. Using that exact same brush, now I'm going into the hot pink. And I'm going to smoke right underneath the purple. So same area of my eye, but I'm going to smoke it out even farther. And the area that's not filled in within the eyeshadow between my inner corner and the middle of my pupil, I'm just going back in with that light pink color. And I'm just going to pack a little bit of this. And for this, I'm just using a flat shader brush, nothing fancy. And then for my inner corner, I guess I'm going to go just back into that shimmery lavender because I already kind of have a base color because of my waterline crayon that I applied. I'm just going to take that Morphe 213 brush and just pack it into that inner corner. Now you can stop here, but I am going to take the eyeshadow one more step farther. I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going into the dark purple shadow and I'm just going to create a point in my inner corner. I really like doing this 
but I start a little bit lower than my lower lash line and then flick it up until it connects to my lash line. I've been really liking that technique for quite a while and I do it on the more natural eyes too. I just end up using like a dark brown shade. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my liquid liner. I'm using the NYX Vinyl Matte Liquid Liner. Um, one of you guys, I think in my last tutorial actually, I was asked how I do my liquid liner to do it a little bit slower. Instead, I'm just gonna, again, throw a card or a link it down below because I have a step-by-step -step how I do my liner because I feel like this tutorial's already getting a little bit long. So I'm just gonna do it real fast, but just know that that's there for you. I will say though, because I have so much eyeshadow on my eyelid and I put so much work into it that I'm gonna keep the line pretty thin. You could opt out of liner completely if you just wanna throw on a big pair of lashes as well. Just because of my eye shape, I have always preferred just doing liner. I've already at this point gone ahead and put some glue on my lashes. I like to, them to get tacky while I add a little bit of mascara. And I'm still using L'Oreal's Telescopic like I have been for the past like 10 years. <laughs> it's my favorite. The only thing I wish is that it was waterproof, which this one is not. So feel free just to use your favorite mascara. And I'm going to apply a little on my bottom lashes as well. And then my eyelashes just come from the drugstore. I usually find mine at Target, um, or you can find yours at Ulta, but they're the Jasmine Brown Curly Queen lashes. You could go for something a bit more dramatic, but I feel like with these, it, it allows the eyeshadow to be seen through. Some of my lashes are so thick that you can only see my eyeshadow when I blink or when I close my eyes. But for something like this, I prefer my lashes to be a little bit more spaced apart so you can see all the work behind them. While my lashes dry, don't worry, they will dry clear, I am going to use my Anastasia Amorezzi. This is just a really nice champagne gold kind of highlight. You could always opt out for something fun, like this is a mirror that I was using as Jeffree Star's Regina George Skin Frost. So you could always do something like that. but. Personally, with me, I um, always enjoy just doing a subtle highlight, especially if I'm doing a lot of color on my eyes. I'll just opt for a like gold shimmery kind of highlight. And today I'm just using a e.l.f. highlighting brush. And honestly, I'm opting out of blush today too. I just feel like I have enough color on my face. All I need is a little bit of a glow, some lipstick, and we are good to go. For lipstick today, I'm also keeping it quite nude. This is Ludwig from Kat Von D. I'm going back into my liquid liner one more time just to go over my lash band just to camouflage it a little bit better. And then to finish off today's look, I actually picked up Jeffree Star's and Morphe's finishing spray as well. I'm super excited. I don't know if I should shake this. <laughs> no, it just says hold the bottle 10, 8 to 10 inches away from face, close eyes, and apply the mist all over your face. So we are just going to finish our look today off with this so it stays in place. Okay guys, so that completed today's tutorial. I had a lot of fun just playing with makeup and coming up with today's look. I think it came out really, really pretty. It's a little darker than maybe I normally go for, but I really like it. So if you have the chance to get your hands on the Morphe again, 339S, such a gem palette. I definitely recommend it. It was super pigmented, really easy to play with, not a whole lot of kickback. So it's something I would definitely recommend having in your collection. But I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any new videos while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!